Hello, and welcome to Tuesday Card Game. I'm Chris. I'm Olivia. And today we're playing Digimon. Just to give a quick explanation of Digimon, essentially you have uh, five uh, security, and the goal is to eliminate your opponent's uh, security, and then uh, once there's no security, you can attack, and uh, if you attack your opponent directly, they lose. Um, so you're going to be bringing in Digimon. Uh, the first step you have is uh, you uh, the egg phase, and in the egg phase you can either hatch a digi egg, which is when you flip over a Digimon, and then you can choose to bring a level three or higher Digimon onto the field. Uh, but if you do, uh, you can't do that and hatch a Digimon in the same phase. Um, so every Digimon is going to have a point. Um, it's going to cost. Uh, this is how much it would cost. If you play it straight from your hand, uh, but there's also this, which is if you digivolve, that's how much energy it would cost. So this would cost three energy to play him from your hand, or if I were to digivolve him, which is to put him on top of here, this is level two, so I'm putting level three on there. It costs zero. So I can digivolve on my same round as I. Yeah, you just can't bring them out. You just can't bring them out. Yep. Uh, so now that this is level three Digimon, I can bring him out. The thing is, uh, there's these inherited effects, um, which you have the ones below your cards. The one on your card, don't activate until you digivolve past that. Um, but then sometimes these cards will have effects on them that are printed on the card that's above the name. So this is stuff that he has mm -hmm. until he digivolves. Okay. So I think um, essentially you do that. You also have tamers that you can bring in. Um, you also have um, cards to play called effects, I think. or Yeah. Um, they're like spells and things. Yeah, they're like spells. That I forget exactly what they're called. But um, in order to play that color of Tamer or... Um, I'll have to see if I can... There's one right there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Options. Options. So in order to play that option, you have to have that color of Digimon on the field. So since I'm running a green deck... If I don't have a red Digimon on the field, I cannot play a red Tamer or red option. And I like to keep things simple right now, so I'm running a purely green deck and you're running a blue deck. Yep. So, okay, we're, I'm going to shuffle this up and we're going to play. We both get to draw five cards, but we're going to determine by flipping this who goes... Uh, is this is how you want to call heads or tails? Heads. Heads. Okay, this is whoever goes first. Heads. So you get to go first, which means you do not draw. You draw five cards, but you do not get to draw during the draw phase. Um, are you going to open an egg? Yes, I am. It's cute. It's Pokemon. Yes. I think you're, that's spelled correctly. I think it's Baku, but... Baku? From the show, I think it's pronounced Bakuman, but oh. I can't remember. It could be Pokemon. Bak. Say it one more time. Buku. It's Bukuman? Bukuman. I, I can't remember. It's I, it's probably Bukuman. I've probably heard this Bakuman my whole life because, yeah. But anyway, um, so again, you can choose to play cards from your hand. Because, um, yeah, we're now in the main phase, if you will. Uh, you have the main phase until you run out of your energy. Um, we have kind of a shared energy pool. And whenever it comes to my side of the pool, so from this side on, once it passes zero... It's my turn. If you pass, in other words, if you still have energy in your field and you pass, then it goes um, to three points. But if it sometimes the strategy is to literally just try to keep it to where your opponent only has like one point to work with. Because like if I have one point and I spend something that costs like four points, then I move it four spaces over. Uh, <clears throat> well, I'm going to put this on top. And since that digivolved, that's going to be a zero cost. Okay. As shown on the card. Yep. Yeah. And so then... it shows it has to be a blue Digimon, and it's a zero. So. Great. And then I can go further, right? Yep. So you can play cards from your hands. You can digivolve Digimon, or you can attack. Um, I don't think the first player gets to attack. No, because okay. there's nothing to attack. Well, you or can attack that me directly. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be fair. Um... Or at least I wouldn't think it would be fair. Yeah, well, we're playing that right now, and I would say that if it were me, too. Um, if that's wrong, then let me know. 
or if I see a rule, I might put a correction. But as far as I know, I don't think you can attack on the first turn. But I could be wrong. I mean. Okay, well, I'm going to do this one. And let me, one, two, three, four. And it's your turn. Okay. So, well, I will find out. So I'm in the uh, draw phase. So I get to draw. Oh, you do get to draw one card because whenever you did you evolve a Digimon, you get to draw a card. So I'm going to. Pop a digi egg. It's Montimon. Um, and I will go ahead and digivolve um, Palmon. So that is zero cost. And I get to draw again because of that. And I guess I'll just play this from my hand, which is going to give you one, two, three, four energy. So what's well, going to give you three energy, but yep. So now it's your turn. Um. Do I draw one back up to yep, my hand? Yep, you're in the draw phase. Okay. So now you go to the digi egg phase. That's where you can choose to either open a digi egg, pop a digi egg, or you can send a Digimon out to bat, out to your field. So you can't do both. Um, well, I'm just going to send it. I know, and I'm not, I'm not saying that because I know, I know you understand. I'm just <coughs> uh, reiterating that for the audience's sake. Oh. And remember, you can't attack Digimon unless they're ex uh, exhausted. So I can attack. You can attack my security, but you can't attack yes. my Digimon right now. Okay, well, I'm going to attack your security. Okay, so do that. You flip over the card. Uh, if it's a Digimon, it's like you, you kind of have a battle to where you compare the highest attack value. Uh, this one is 2,000, and hers is 4,000. So um, mine would be defeated. Now, if mine had been like a 6,000 or a 4,000, if it had been 4,000 or higher, both of them would have been defeated. Well, this actually says cannot be defeated. This Digimon can't be deleted in battles against security. Digimon. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, again, that's the, the exception and not the rule. But so. I can only use this once, yeah, right? Yeah, because he's exhausted now. Okay. When you play a Digimon from one of your Digimons, did you have the list of cards gain one memory? Oh, so if I play... No, once per turn. <coughs> so I think if you attack a Digimon that has... Uh, when you play a Digimon oh, okay. from one of your Digivolutions... Digimon's Digivolutions. It's weirdly... I would think that if you... Because it's on your turn, once per turn. So I think once per turn, when you use like when you're Digimon, like that's in this stack to mm -hmm. attack, you get to gain a memory. Or if you use them to block or something like that. She's on a blocker, so. Mm -hmm. And it's on deletion, gain a memory, so. Wait, so I didn't have to, I could attack your security if I wanted to, right? I don't yeah. have to attack your other people. There's Digimons with things called blockers. What does that do? Anything? Oh. Let's see, well, this Digimon is level 6 or higher, it gains 1,000 DP, uh, so that's not counting right now. And this is, well, this Digimon is level 6 or higher, it gains plus 1 security attack. So this can attack two security, like, it can attack one security Which card. One? This guy right here. Well, then I'm gonna but play you can't game. attack my cards unless they're exhausted. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> so you can attack my, you can attack this if you want, but that's up to you. Um... Yeah, I'm going to play it one more time. Security, please. Okay. Security! So, Aw. So, yep, so that deletes both my security card and your Digimon. Okay. Oh, it's still my turn. Yep, it's still your turn. That's a good way of keeping people out of... Oh, like, that's, that's this a, is what I was going to do and then give it to you. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you're kind of... You're, you're doing what they call choking. So I'm going to... Pop a digi egg. Oh, I gotta draw. Okay. Um, I'm not getting a lot of rookies this turn. This in this hand. Okay, so. What I'm well, I guess what I'm going to do is I'll play this guy, which will let me draw a card. Is this an effect if nothing is on top of it? What's it say? 
Oh yeah, no, no, those don't count. Those are called, um, I forget what they call them, but they only come in after you've digivolved from okay. that phase. Okay, so I did that, but that's two, so it's gonna go back to you. <laughs> Both doing the choke. Okay, well I'm going to pop a digi egg. Uh, is it Demi Vimon? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to evolve it. So you draw a card. Oh, oh this comes back, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to suspend at the beginning of your turn. Yes. I'm going to attack your security. So it's 7,000. Oh, and I, you I, can't be deleted. Yep. Yeah, I can't Oof. be deleted. Yeah, I, okay. And so, and then I'm going to pay three to do this one and de evolutionize your cards. Oh, like, why are you putting it under your card, though? Oh, I think I thought it did. No, you just trash the bottom digivolutions of all your opponents. Did you mind then up to three of your. So these go to the discard pile. And then you can't attack me. No, three of your Digimon can't attack until... Uh, three of mine? No, three of mine can't attack. Yes, so... Uh, until the end of my turn, so yep. these three can't attack. So we'll just put this card here, just to remind us that they can't attack. Okay. Okay. And then it's your turn. Uh, well, how much did that cost? Three. three. No, 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 I already oh, moved you're it. Just, okay. <laughs> I'm just... He's trying to cheat. Yeah. Let's see, I guess I'll digivolve this guy for one card, one point, which gives me a card. Did I, did I draw? I did not draw, so um, apparently one of my eggs somehow <laughs> got there. How many do you draw? Well, I forgot to draw this turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah but I only draw up to five, like no, one. No, you don't have a hand limit. Oh, you just you draw, draw one five? Card. No, you draw one card oh, at the start okay. of your turn, and then every time you digivolve, you draw a card. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and digivolve this, which will give you... Let me draw a card. Okay. That's the end of my opponent's turn, so... There. Let's go to your, your graveyard. I'm going to attack your security again. Oh, so it's Henry, which I get to place this card without paying the memory cost. So as the start of your turn, if you have two or less, or less memory, set your memory to three. Uh, when attacking uh, when attacking with a Digimon with a uh, with special keywords like a, a Gar Gar Gargomon or Rabidmon in his name, you may suspend this hammer uh, to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. So that's nice. But I only have one security left. I know, but then I have to attack you once yeah, you have to after, attack me directly, yep. like, and I don't have anything, I guess I do, but, might as well go for it, but I can't attack in the same round as putting him down, right? You can if you have the memory. Once the memory goes past zero, it's my turn. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I'm still going to attack your security, so that will just make me have to... Okay, well, it's a magical spell, but it's an option, magical spell. Add this card to the owner's hands, but it says, uh, Main, one of your Digimon gains the following effects for the turn when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle. It survives unsuspended, so... Essentially, he can attack twice here. Okay, is there anything else you're going to do? Um, I'm going to evolve this one for the cost of two, one, two, and then can I bring it out? Mm -hmm. But I can't use it, right? You can. Oh, okay. But I can't attack you, You right? could. I can? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just attack you. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything because uh, uh, I was like, oh, I'm I'll new. lose. I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, uh, the problem is I couldn't get any rookies. Like, my, I, I, I've built this game out. I just got to unlock you with my hand drawn, so. Yeah, um, well, that's what I did with you in our yeah. practice round. I couldn't get anything. Yep, and that's how the game goes. So, congratulations. You won. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to actually give me a high five. 
Okay. You're lucky too because I think I would have actually gotten the upper hand if if you if if I would have gotten that I turn. I almost pushed that one, and I was like, "Well, if I give you that a turn, given me like, I would have given you ten points, and yes. then you would have." You would have I could have cleaned brought out so the floor many, with yeah. me, so I was like, yeah. nah, I'm not yeah. doing well, that. that that's, that's the choices, though. Sometimes you have to bring those higher points out if you're yeah. not getting anything. Yeah. See, if I had had one more turn, I think it would have been a much closer game, but you just had that option that prevented me from attacking because yeah. I would have had to attack you to... I would, have, I would have tried to remove that Digimon. I forgot that he doesn't get deleted, so that made that hard. <laughs> but, you know, that's Digimon, right? <laughs> um, okay, well, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll see you guys next time.